Hi student, you know, in this module, you know, we'll mainly talk about two functions. One is MLE and one is MLE2 from uh, first one from STAT4 package and second one for BB MLE package. You know, mainly how to use these two functions uh, to uh, get the maximum likelihood estimate of any uh, statistical model or any statistical uh, distribution to get the parameter estimate. And uh, so I'll, first I'll start with MLE. MLE mainly use the optim function in between to get the maximum likelihood estimate. So how to use the MLE directly from a STAT4 package, and then you know we we'll learn how to use the uh, MLE2 uh, functions, which is much more robust function than MLE, and where you know you that function would help you to you know get all other aspect like you know strong inferential informations and all kind of uh, information criteria, the goodness of fit, etc. You know all all type of things that you will get from this uh, function that you won't get that much from MLE package. And again, you know the MLE MLE two and MLE both can be used by defining the log likelihood, negative log likelihood functions. Uh, but the MLE2 also allow you to use uh, or you know make a formula interface instead of defining the uh, maximum like negative maximum like log likelihood uh, functions it would allow you to uh, do a direct formula interface to get the maximum likelihood estimate. So in the second module, we'll see you know how to use the MLE function uh, from STAT4 uh, package, you know, to get the maximum likelihood estimations. So we'll start with a uh, normal distribution. So first, let's generate the normal uh, variable. One say uh, started with seed 1001, and then n equals to 100. So 100 normal 100 sample size uh, that we can fix it and that x equals to r norm n mean equals to 3 and standard deviation 2. Then we formulate the log likelihood function as like LL equals to function a mu sigma r equals to d norm x mu sigma minus sum log r. Let us MLE uh, comment, uh, let use MLE comment from you know stats 4 package to get the estimates as follows. So first load the uh, library stats for you may not let, uh, need to load methods but you know sometimes you know stat for may not work I mean MLE may not work without uh, methods though it should uh, automatically load it should be loaded but if it not you know you can load the uh, method uh, package and then you can uh, just MLE LL start equals to list the initial value MU equals to 1 and sigma equals to one, you will get some warning uh, here that uh, NA is produced and the results would be given like this coefficient is mu is 2.99 and sigma 2.27. Those warning are a little you know disconcerting, they are uh, produced when negative values are attempted for standard deviation and uh, which are two ways to short out this. Uh, the first is to apply constraints on the parameters. The mean does not require a constant but insists that the standard deviation is positive. For example, say MLE LLL start list MU equals to 1, sigma equals to 1 and method you do the L hyphen A B A B F G S B and lower equals to minus infinity to 0 and upper equals to infinity to infinity and then it, it you won't get the warning and you will get the estimators 2.99 and 2.77. This work because MLE calls optim which has a uh, number of optimization methods. The default method is BFGS and alternative uh, the LBFGSB method also uh, allows the box constraint. The other solution is to simply ignore the warning it's neater and producer the same results. For example, you know the LL equal to say function mu sigma and then you just write suppress warnings just 
pass the uh, d norm x mu sigma within suppress warning functions warnings functions that will remove the warning and uh, then rest of the functions are as it is then you, you can apply MLELL start list mu 1 and sigma 1 then you will see there is no warning at all only the estimates are given so actually you remove the warning so this suppress I mean suppress warnings function will remove all the warnings that are uh, displaying after running this code so uh, now we'll uh, sh uh, apply the linear model uh, here. So let simulate a data as follows. And first, x generated from R uniform 100, and then y equals to is 2.5 into x plus 3 plus R norm 100 0 0 0.5 as a sigma. Now to uh, apply the MLU and linear model, define the log likelihood function as follows. Say LL. Uh, equals to function beta naught beta 1 mu sigma r equals to y minus x into beta 1 minus beta naught and then we, you suppress the warnings for that r suppress d norm r mu sigma and say log equals to 2 because we need the log likelihood and then return the sum of the ne uh, I mean negative of the, uh, the log likelihood value. So, sum of r will give you the log likelihood value and the negative log likelihood value would be returned. And let us get the estimate by the MLE command. So, fit MLE LL uh, start list beta naught the initial value of beta naught is assigned to be 4, beta 1 is 2, beta mu equals to 0 and sigma equals to 1 and then summary fit. The maximum likelihood estimation called MLE uh, and then uh, the coefficients would be given in this manner the beta naught beta 1 mu and sigma their estimates their standard error and also minus 2 log likelihood value would be given here that is here 1192 182 that we do for the chi uh, squared I mean and then uh, the next one that we will see uh, to e how to apply the MLE2 function from BB MLE package. MLE, uh, the BB MLE package designed to sim simplify maximum likelihood estimation and analysis in R extends and modifies the MLE function and class in the STAT4 package that comes with R by default. The major difference between MLE and MLE2 are MLE2 is more robust with additional warnings. For example, the Hessian cannot be computed by finite differences. MLE2 returns a fit with a missing Hessian rather than stopping with an error. MLE2 uses a data argument to allow different data to be passed to the negative log likelihood function. MLE2 has a formula interface like that uh, for example, GLS in, uh, in LNME package for relatively simple model the formula for maximum likelihood can be written in line rather than defining a negative log likelihood function. The formula interface also simplifies the fitting model with categorical variables. Models fitted using the formula interface also have applicable prediction and simulate methods. The BBMLE defines ANOVA, AIC, AICC, BIC methods for MLE2 objects as well as AIC tab, BIC tab, AIC C tab functions for producing the summary tables of the information criteria for a set of models. We will take a beta binomial data, simulated beta binomial data for illustration. Uh, first generate a single beta binomial simulated data set of points as a simple test the fit. Uh, say you have to load the library EMD book and set a seed as 1001 and then x1 is R beta binomial function can be obtained from EM, EMD book package and then R beta binomial n equals to 1000 probability 0 0.1 size 50 and theta equals to train. Then construct a simple negative log likelihood functions say library BBMLE then M, M TMP function probe size theta is minus sum d beta binomial uh, binom x1 probe size theta log equals to true. So, this function will give you the negative log likelihood function. 
then feed the model use data to pass the uh, size parameter <coughs> like this say m not equals to m l 2 m t m p start the initial values is start equals to least probability 0 0.2 and theta 9 and data equals to least size equals to 50 and this will give you the results the probability is 0 0.103094 and the theta estimate is 10.0758090 and the log likelihood value is minus 2723.5. The summary method for MLE2 objects shows the parameters approximately approximate standard errors and a test of parameter difference from 0 based on the standard error and on an assumptions that the likelihood surface is quadratic equivalently that the sampling distribution of the estimated parameter is normal. So, if you get the summary of F0 if you will see that the, the parameter probe and theta the estimates are given uh, in the form second column you will get the standard error and the z value and p values p values showing all are significant and minus 2 uh, log likelihood would be given here. You can apply confin directly to M0, uh, but if you are going to work with the likelihood profile, for example, you know, plotting or looking for confidence interval at several uh, different alpha values, then it is more efficient to compute the profile likelihood once. So, P0 equals to profile M0 that will give the profile likelihood and compare the confidence interval estimates based on inverting a spline fit to the profile based on the quadratic approximation at the maximum likelihood estimate and based on root finding to find the exact point where profile crosses the critical level. Say if you have the p naught uh, as a profile likelihood then uh, you can get the 95 percent confidence interval as confin p naught and you can also change the method as quadratic approximation that also give you the 95 percent or you know method uni root you can change it for say confin m naught method uni root that also give you the 95 percent confidence interval by the method of uni root. Uh, so, the three different way that we have learned how to get the confidence interval. And then plot, we can get the you know plot of profile, and what we can do, we can plot p naught, then plot dot you know conf str true. So this is the profile likelihood, uh, that confidence interval, uh, the p naught would be plotted, the profile would be plotted, and conf uh, str would be true, and then you will get this plot. The plot method for likelihood profile displays the square root of the deviance difference. Twice the difference in negative log likelihood from the best fit, so it will be V shaped for cases where the quadratic approximation works well. For a better visual estimate of uh, whether the profile is quadratic, use the ABS val equals to false option to the plot method. You can also request confidence intervals calculated using uni root which may be more exact when profile is not smooth enough to be modeled accurately by a spline. However, this method is also more sensitive to numeric problems. Instead of defining an explicit function for minus log likelihood, we can also use the formula interface. So, the formula, uh, the formula interface assumes that the density function given has x as its first argument. If distribution is multivariate, then x should be a matrix of observations and has a log augmented uh, log uh, argument that will return the log probability or log probability density if log is true. S some of the extended functionality depends on the existence of S variant function 
for the distribution that returns the mean median as a function of parameters currently defined is s norm s binom binom s beta s n beta negative binomial and s poiso s poise note that you must specify the data via the data argument when using the formula interface for example say m not f is mle2 then x1 and this symbol then d beta binomial probability size equals to 50 and theta then start equals to list probability equals to 0 0.2 theta equals to 9 and data equals to data dot frame x1 so this may be slightly more on widely than just pulling the data from your workspace when you are doing simple things but in the long run it makes task like prediction and predicting new response much simpler it's convenient to use the formula interface to try out likelihood estimates on the transform parameters for example m not cf equals to mle2 x then tilde symbol and then uh, d beta binom probability is p logis l prob size equals to 50 theta equals to exp l theta start list prob l prob equals to 0 l theta equals to 2 and data equals to data dot frame x1 and that the object if you get the confidence interval confined m not cf method equals to uni root uh, so that will give you the 95 percent confidence interval of the estimate and confined m not cf method is spline then that will give the spline method and the 95 percent confidence interval of the estimates in the final module of uh, mle that is the second module we learn mainly the use of two function one is mle and one is another is mle2 from bb mle package and how to extract the different informations from those two uh, our, our output of those two functions you know especially the information criteria the inferential aspect of the uh, model altogether, you know that and we have also seen that mle2 is much more stronger uh, function than uh, mle from stat4 and i think uh, combining both uh, module 1 and um, mle module 1 and module 2 i think i tried to cover all the different type of functions and different type of way of uh, applying the maximum likelihood estimate uh, for a quite simple model though it's not much complicated if a complicated model might need you know much more sophisticated functions and sophisticated techniques sometimes you know hardcore programming might be required but here by these two modules I'm trying to uh, show you how to actually get the maximum value estimation you know it's quite simple type of models and not much more complicated one